Hello everyone, Rudon here with another Grounded video. Today's video will be going over the basketball court, another component of my Crimson Keep. Uh, the last video I did was Concessions Day and I had to take a bit of a break from making videos because I, I got sick, but I did. Uh, I was able to get back and now we can get going. So the basketball court you can see is a fairly large building. I want to say it's like 12 by 15. When we get into the actual building phase, I'll give you the actual numbers, but this is the basketball court right here for air conditioners on top. And that's where the uh, the big scoreboard is. So let's go on in. I hate that the doors automatically open instead of just both of them doing that way because I haven't rotated. <clears throat> anyway, so you come on in. You have the first set of bleachers with stands in the fans. Fans in the stands. I'll say it right eventually. I use a bunch of abominations. And if you position them right, they can actually look like they're sitting in the chairs. Same thing with the announcers that I have right here sitting behind the uh, score table. And that's what they're doing there. They're sitting down as well, along with the backup players. The backup players are all just abominations. The starters actually are wearing armor. We have the two different coaches in ladybug armor because, you know, they're wearing like a suit to go to the games. Um, then, of course, we have the actual lines for the court. You know, the out-of-bounds lines, the, the line around the lane where the free throw line is, half court. And I try not to hang too many lights down from the middle because there's my scoreboard. We just don't have any numbers yet or else I have numbers up there. I try not to hang too much down from that because it would that would technically block the ability to take long shots. The lights on the back of the backboard are for when they take that last second shot. It lights up to let them know the, that the game is over and if the ball's in the air already, then it's a good shot. But we have the spiders versus the bees with clover guys as my referees, three refs. And more stands, more fans, and then like owner's boxes or luxury boxes. And apparently there's loose grass in here too. So the guy you have to check, them, you know, the bouncer to get in here, make sure you're allowed to come up in here. Refreshment area, a little bit of uh, art or whatever. And then you can sit down and watch the game. Yes, there is a light right in the way. I'm not moving it. And then, of course, if you need to use the, the facilities, there are four restrooms. And they're all the same. Basic restrooms. So that is the basics of basics of this build. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch over to creative mode. And we're going to get over there um, and get this going. Because this is technically my save file, my, uh, my survival file. So I did stream this back in March, March 15th or so. I, do, I did stream building this. Um, so I'll go ahead and link that stream in the description below as well. Um, let's go ahead and get over to creative and let's get building. So I'll be back in just a second. We'll go ahead and pause for you guys. All right, so here we are back in my creative file. Um, I've already kind of gutted it out. I left the floor and the walls and stuff just to kind of speed it up a little bit. But to give you dimensions, the side with the doors, there's you know, they're going to be the same size, obviously. They're 12, 12 wide. So one, two, three, four, five. That's six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So it's 12 along the side with the doors, two sides, obviously. And then 15 along the front and back. So it's a 12 by 15 building. And yes, I will fill in the roof. I have a couple extra little pieces I'm going to put up there. So that's why it's uh, missing for the moment. Now, to do these lines, not everybody may know that you can sink, not even really sink, just place a, what is it, sturdy wall. And the top of the sturdy wall acts beautifully as lines. So you sink that down into where just the top hat, the top of it's right at the, the edge of your foundations and put your foundations back in. I would do one side of the foundations. In other words, don't do all foundations and then try to get the wall to go down in there. Um, it gave me a lot of trouble doing that to get it to sink all the way. But if I do it like this, it drops in with no problem. So. You do one foundation, then do the wall, then do the foundation that kind of pinches the the wall in place. Like basically the foundation is where I'm standing. I'm gonna put this back. Now your court from the the I'll call this the front and the back is two sections in, two sections into the court. From the sides is I think five. We'll count them. One, two, three four, five. Yep. So five is to this corner right here. Five in from that wall where the doors are, two in from this wall, and that's where you can start your lines. And then from this side, I believe it was a little bit more. Let's check it. One, two, three, four, five. Nope. Still five. So five in on each side. 
um, and that leaves the additional the, the other five for the actual court. So the court itself is five across as well. Well, let me get up top. We're going to do the roof real quick, and then we'll get inside and start doing some of the uh, more decorative parts, I guess, of it. So what I had was the four, um, I guess we'll call them air conditioner units. They were three sections in, so one, two. Thank you. Three. And then one, two, three. I did it right. My bad. So three sections in. Basically, you go three sections in, and then from that one, you would go three sections that way. So this is where that air conditioning unit uh, was. So let's get some of these. And I how they pop halfway like that, that's exactly what I want. I want them to be halfway in, halfway out of the wall. Before you close that one in, I would recommend doing the floor at the bottom. And of course, a floor on top. I keep pressing the wrong button. There we go. So once again, one, two, three. One, two, three, right here. So I can even kind of close in around it. Now we're going to go ahead and bring up the walls. There we go. And by getting them to sink halfway, that's how you get the... Uh, Kind of that, uh, I, don't know, I don't know if it's old school or not, but the old school, to me anyway, look of an air conditioner and the, uh, the old gymnasiums. Sometimes it doesn't always want to sink. Sometimes it wants to be a pain. Luckily, it's just grass. Oh, and that's what happens when you move too fast. I'll finish those out. All right, so one, two, three, that's three. So it's right here. Let me get back up there. That way we can, we can continue. But also a bounce web for the top of this, since it's three store, three walls high. Actually, it's one foundation and three walls high is a good idea. You can run up these walls on those angled pieces like that, um, but I wouldn't really count on that. Alright, so three in plus three in, so it's right there. And you just it's just four of them. And then yes, I will figure out the center portion in just a second. Because there's a different way to do that. Luckily we got uh, the half floors in time. Okay, I don't want to go too much more because I don't remember the exact position, but we'll figure it out in just a second. I know it's halfway. I'll press the right button eventually. Okay, not that. That. This up there. Okay, so we got our four air conditioning units uh, basically built in. Now, like I said, it's 12 by 15. So it's 12 in this direction. So one, two, three, four, five, six. This is the exact center. Matter of fact, what I'll do is to mark the exact center and do it like that. Come on. Okay, so location occupied. If that happens, uh, apparently it's still a thing. Just delete some stuff around it. I know that's a pain sometimes. So it's 15 across, so I need to get to 8. So this is the middle. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and this would be eight. So I could either do this. Well, if I do a double, I could do double odd, huh? You could do that. I mean, you can make it larger if you want for your uh, your jumbotron. Uh oh, I messed up. One, two, three, four, five, six. I need one more. I need to delete that one. All right, so I went for these these smaller, kind of keep it in line with those guys. I didn't want to go with one that was as big as this, but thankfully we had half floors. Now this one I did a bit differently. Now, I'm pretty sure this would work just fine using, where is it? The regular walls versus those uh, acorn railings like I did. Because you can just stick the uh, the signs to the lower portion. <laughs> yeah. So, you can just do it that way. You don't have to do the, don't have to do the little bit more expensive way I did it. But that's your roof. Now you have your four air conditioning units and your scoreboard in the center. What I had to do to get up there was build a little bit of stairs. I went with the much cheaper stairs. You can go even cheaper than this if you want with, uh, what is it? Lily pads, uh, lily, lily, lily pad leaves and a stem for a roof, roof angle piece. It works. It's great if so it doesn't matter. Okay. So just right up here along the bottom edge of this. Put two of those side by side. And then, because grass is plentiful in this area, I just went with a bunch of grass around this area to... That way I get to both sides. I built, basically built a scaffolding. Which, yes, we do have those. You can actually build those directly, but... This works. And then all that will disappear. Okay, so that is your scoreboard off the center. Um, I did do, where are they? Some of these lights, I like to jump. Just a bit too short. So if you want to be very precise on how you put this, leave your scaffolding till you're done. And then at the end of each side of the court, where, the, where are they? Right in the middle of the lane is where you want to put this. Facing in, okay. And then, you know, very simply just takes a couple sconces and put on the back of it. That looks a little crooked actually, but one of my survival files fine. Also adding light too, so that uh, when it gets a little later in this video, it won't be super, super dark in here. Because if not, it gets dark in here pretty quick. Because there's no windows. in an attempt to try to keep the court from being too dark, but you can't put anything out in the middle. All right, now for the stands. So you, you walked in and it was one, basically one floor section in and there was a wall on your face. And the wall goes all the way till it's one section short of touching the sidewall. Not there. Not there. Now. We'll 
go in. We had a set of stairs on each side. Across the top row was the half floor. On that side. There we go. Halfway up that wall was a regular grass floor. Okay. That's always fun. Okay. So, that is basically how you set up the, the stands that I set up. I'm only going to do a couple of chairs. I'm not going to do the whole thing. But you can put the chairs about three per, per floor section. I'm trying to speak way too fast right there. So I just went with three per, which still was a lot of chairs. I'm not going to do the whole thing. I'm probably just going to do these, I'm just going to do these first two sections. Along with their people sitting in them or the abominations sitting in them. Just to say this was a lot of ant parts uh, running around. Thankfully the ant prison uh, helped out. That link will be in the description below as well. So in case you guys want to check out the ant prisons, if you need more ant parts, you can check that out. And see, these guys can still be built where they're sitting in them. And, you know, with the whole pandemic going on, I was, you know, spacing them out. Socially distancing. And just using that set that setup all the way across. Now. Oh, I need to go back one more. There we go. The fencing. That way the crowd doesn't mess with the people. What in the world? In the stand, uh, in the the benches, we'll go all the way across. Just one short of the wall, and I did two or three forward. You can go all the way if you want, but you gotta be able to get in there somehow. All right, and then the bench for the players. You know, the abominations can sit on these as well. You need twelve. Luckily, they're cheap. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten, eleven, twelve. And then with that, you, same thing. The abominations can sit on them. They can't be too far back, but you can put them in there like that. And you basically have your seven men on the on the bench. And then the five that are on the floor. Right here in the center. I'm actually going to move this light because of I'm going to be putting in the uh, announcer's table. I had to think what it was called. See, I would do the half wall. I would do a wall sunken halfway in right here. But it's still too tall for what I want to do. So I had to switch to the acorn railings. Just two of them. And then one seat behind each each table, because that gets an abomination on it as well. And that's your announcers. And then in front of the announcers table, when I finally was able to put these guys back on there, I had to kind of raise them up a little higher than I wanted. I wanted to have them level with the top of the table, but the game only put them that far down. So I wasn't able to quite put them where I wanted. And just the light at each end of the table. We go now for the bleachers it's the same thing over there uh they're a little bit closer so i'm gonna just i'm not gonna do the bleachers on this side and over here i'm just gonna do like the bathrooms and stuff okay 
So the bathrooms are also one wall section off. And they are two sections long per bathroom. So they're one off the wall right here, one off the wall right here. This is going to be a door. And then the spots directly in front of the doors is left empty because that's the way to get into the other bathrooms. By the way, this wall that is two sections off the door wall goes to right there and stops. Oh, yeah, one more. All right, now to set up the bathroom real quick, which is a, it's a quick little thing. Um, once again, Raymond D., one of my subs and members, uh, pointed that showed me this when I visited his world a long time ago. Told me, go ahead and use it. Shared it with the community. Basically, a toilet with a tank on the back and then a sink with a mirror. There's your sink. And then, of course, you know, a mirror. They have a purplish blue color in the game that works great for the mirror. And you need a game. Now, all the <coughs> all the bathrooms match what's uh, what I've done right there. It's probably because there's this stuff right here. So what you do is you can pick this up and move it. You don't have to delete it. So if you do that, if you do that problem, just pick it up, move it. Um, get the door blueprint put in and then put these back or, you know, do the structural structural stuff first and then do the uh, let's make it look good stuff. All right, so it's four bathrooms like that. They each have one light in them. I forgot about the light. I always forget about the light. And it'll be the same thing. There'll be a bathroom right here. Bathroom here. And a bathroom here. And then for people coming in the doors or coming around, they can either look that way or that way. Now we're gonna get the stairs because there was a, there was a set of stairs at each end of this. Like so. Floor pieces, because we have to put a roof on the bathroom. And like I said, the other bleachers are right here. And they continue on that way. Oh, that's because those uh, sign frames are in the, in the way on the back side of the wall. So it's just because there's stuff in the way. But that's no bother. You saw I had that one guard right... Where was he? Where are they? I had the one bouncer guard dude stand right there. And there was a set of stairs going up to the owner's boxes. Or VIP suites or whatever you want to call them. And he goes all the way across... It stops right here by the, this because this other side is another set of stairs to get up here. And of course, same thing. The bouncer guy. So the back wall matches the wall of the outside of the building. I like to have everything kind of cohesive and matching. Also, too, these boxes are not over the rounded corner whatsoever. They go forward to floor sections. Hear that. And then across the front so as not to obscure too much of the view of the game. Spread rails. Now, the center line is right here. Three floors and then three floors. So at the center line is where I went with a wall. Simple wall. Just to block off the two sides. Uh, you obviously don't want to have uh, 
people having to share those spaces. Refreshments table. I don't think I have a light right here in my world. I'm going to have to go back and put it. I should have probably put up the door first, huh? We'll see. Nope. Okay, good. Hinges this way. That way when it opens, it goes against the wall. A little bit of decoration back here. Light in the middle. And then the comfy seats to sit in and watch the game. That's all it is, really. It's a two by three little cute uh, space, a little extra nice stuffs. Uh, more more stands, you know, more people in the stands like this over here is that's what's over there. And then lights. I hung lights off of each one of these guys. Because it does get dark near at night. Very dark. But that is the basketball court. I am going to go ahead and switch back to my survival file. So you guys can see it one more time in fully built and everything's in place but that is it it's a 12 by 15 um the court is five off of each side wall where the doors are uh, so basically the court is also five wide um the court is 10 long leaving sorry eight long leaving two on each end so the court is eight long right here but that is the basketball court so let me go ahead and switch to the survival file we'll take one more look at it and i'll be right back guys all right, so we are back in my survival file. You see I have the seven guys on the bench on each side, the coaches, like I said, and the stands. The fans are all spaced out, you know, trying to keep the, you know, social distance thing going. Uh, let's see. We got, like I said, the, the players. You have your five spiders versus the five bees, with the referees being in clover. There's three of them. It's typically, uh, typical basketball games have two to three refs. And then your bouncer to let people up to the nicer area. I'll use regular grass walls. Okay. And then, like I said earlier, the bathrooms. Very simple. These don't have mirrors, but they need to have mirrors. I just haven't built them yet. I was having issues with those for a while. But if you guys like this content and would like to see more like it, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. Turn on the bell for notifications. Until the next video, you guys have a good one.